Hello, Aries. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot, and thank you so much for joining me for this month of October. So let's just jump in and see what the cards are indicating for you, Aries, for the week of October 3rd through the 9th, 2022. Keep in mind, these are very general readings, not one-on-one -on -one readings. Some things will resonate, some will not. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and help support my channel. So let's get started. First up, Major Arcana card, The Magician. Next, Major Arcana card, The Lovers. The Queen of Swords. And the Four of Pentacles. Aries, the message, the energy that I'm picking up for you this week is you're being divinely guided in regards to your money, your finances this week. It's in regards to your perspective on things financial and being able to manifest what it is you want. So it's by making smart choices and it might involve Another individual is what I'm picking up. So let's just dive into your reading. First card here, your anchor card for the reading. Major Arcana card, The Magician, which is a beautiful card in energy to kick off your reading this week. This is the power for you to manifest whatever you so choose. It's an indication that you do have the resources available to you to be able to accomplish your goals, your dreams, whatever it is you're focused on. And this is for the week ahead. This is a card indicating your personal power, Aries. Very strong energy. You have the potential to make things happen. This is about having a vision, Aries, and then taking action to make it happen. Because the power here with the magician energy is that intention and action are both required. And when that lines up, that's where the real magic happens. So an indication here to start gathering the resources you need to meet your goals, start taking your first steps. The universe is empowering you to manifest your vision, your goals, your dreams. So take advantage of this opportunity by staying very focused and applying your personal power. Now, the Magician card is ruled by Mercury, so it's your perception on things. It's also a lot of communicating this week, letting people know what you want, asking for assistance, advice. For some Aries, this could be in regards to business. So this could be something in your work environment, or if you owned your own business, certainly could be in regards to that. Now, the infinity symbol here. It's usually always hovering over the magician, and here it's like a bow on his cap. Now, this is the infinity symbol or lemniscate. It is the interaction of energy and matter. And it represents, of course, infinity, indestructibility, this is the energy that's available for you this week. Kind of an unstoppable energy, which you have to have a positive mindset. You have to really want what you're trying to obtain. Not afraid of hard work, being persistent. And with the Magician card, this actually is using three main chakras, the first, the third, and the seventh. So it's got you covered from top to bottom as your first chakra is your base, so that you're um, building on a solid foundation. Your third chakra right at the middle at the solar plexus, very fiery energy, that's your will and determination, how much you want something. And then your seventh chakra, your crown chakra, your connection to source energy, connection to spirit whatever name you give to the one consciousness. So you're pretty much covered from like top to bottom. 
using all your chakras to manifest what it is you want this week, you have the power. Next card here, you have the major arcana card, the lovers. And I don't know why my camera is. There we go. This is where the change could be happening. Lover's card is in regards to decisions, choices, and behaviors, specifically in regards to others around you, your relationships, your partner, um, family, friends. It's your actions and consequences. So if you have decisions to make this week, Aries, make sure your head and your heart are united. Tune into your heart's desire, but pay attention to logic and be practical. Now, when the lover's card shows up, usually when you have to make a choice and by choosing one path, the other is sacrificed. So this is a really about taking ownership, being responsible for the choices, the decisions that you've made in the past, as well as what you're making now. This is Gemini's card in energy, one of being very independent, very free, adaptable, very communicative energy. Possibly an enterprising type of energy as well. So again, for some of you, this is um, tied to business decisions that are going to affect others, which could be the employees that work for you. But this number six with the lover's card is the number of harmony and balance, love and happiness, service, your social responsibility. Six is the number of the third eye chakra. So this is primarily your perception on things and being careful with your choices, your decisions that you might be making this week. You have very powerful magician energy and you need to do what's best for you, Aries. So don't let anyone else pull you off track, so to speak. Next, you have the Queen of Swords. Very interesting Queen of Swords because she's got this vulture behind her. Now, she is facing your future. So I'm kind of picking up an indication here that this could be, um, this is representing someone from your past that might show up, which then um, will change up what you've got planned for yourself, your decisions, your choices. And there's a really big warning here. Warning signs. It's like red flags on the field that I'm picking up. Almost uh You'll be sorry if you let someone from your past dictate what you're doing for your future. Queen of Swords is a very straightforward energy or individual. There is no emotions with the Queen of Swords. She just tells it like it is. This could represent an attorney for some of you. Possibly uh, you might be dealing with something where you need an attorney for something that happened in the past. And the vulture is just waiting for you to slip up. But for the most part, this queen's got her sword raised high. And with the sword pointing up, it's reaching beyond any kind of distractions towards your higher truth. So I think the power affiliated here with the magician card this week, Aries, is going to carry you through what it is you want to manifest for your future. Now your last card here, the Four of Pentacles. This is a card of extreme caution, especially in regards to your money, your finances. So I feel somebody could be showing up from the past, maybe possibly wanting to borrow money or get your money somehow. That could be tied with a legal matter here. The wise choice, of course, of course Aries would be to say no. This is a card of putting up boundaries, saving your money, keeping things safe and secure, your foundation in place. So the Four of Pentacles is kind of like an energy of not wanting to chance anything in regards to your money, your finances, investments. So you're holding on tight and you see all these pentacles 
are all safe and secure on the card. So you're holding on tight and refusing to budge from your position of control. So this can be protecting your money, your job, your home. Now this is Capricorn's card and it's really interesting because we actually see the Capricorn goat in the clouds here. Kind of a reminder to stay focused, be practical, persevere with what it is you originally want for yourself, Aries. This card's ruled by the sun, so it's in regards to your identity, your character, your personal drives. It's your brand, you might say. And don't mess with your true authentic self. And there could be somebody contacting you, maybe through social media, so it might not be in person. But wow, I get the old phrase, just say no, is coming through. Number four, numerology to this card is refusing to budge. And I think that's very wise, especially in regards to someone from the past, maybe someone wanting money, maybe somebody, if you have a court case, don't budge from the outcome that you want for yourself, Aries. Now, the numerology here with your tarot cards, you have one, six, one, and four, and that adds up to 12 which reduces down to three. So there's new beginnings wanting to emerge for you, Aries. Something new that you're going to be able to manifest for yourself starting this week, whether it be possibly a new relationship, a new place to live, a new job, maybe a new project, new friends, whatever it may be. There's something that's wanting to emerge, but it's kind of based on how much you're going to take action here with the Magician card and not let anyone, anyone around you steer you off course. Now let's take a look at which crystal is being suggested for the week ahead. You have aquamarine and Aries. Let's bring aquamarine into your reading for you. Okay. Now the card says courage. But aquamarine pretty much helps you release any old patterns or beliefs that no longer serve you. And that's certainly what I'm picking up from this vulture is someone from your past, someone, something, just waiting to see if you're going to repeat the cycle. So it might be somebody you lent money to before and now they're back for more. So aquamarine helps you to look at things from a new perspective. It helps you to calm your energy quiet your mind, reduce your stress levels, giving you courage and strength to move forward through any difficult situations that you might be having this week. So this could be, um, especially for the Aries that are in some kind of legal battle this week, maybe a former partner, you're trying to get through the legal proceedings so you can move on. So Aquamarine here can help you out. Also, an excellent crystal for talking in front of groups. It gives you courage to say what you want to say, but in a very calm and rational manner. So important crystal to have with you for the week ahead. It has everything to do with communication, which is very predominant in your reading. Now your oracle card message. Ghost. And it says regret. Well, since we're in the month of October, I am using the Halloween Oracle deck. And now in general, ghosts are spirits that cannot let go of this world. They have some kind of reason or unfinished business. And this one has regrets that they wish to resolve. But with this card coming in for you this week, Aries, I feel this is maybe somebody um, trying to get back into your life because they have regrets. This is uh, coming into you as a warning. Make sure you let go of like this energy. Don't allow it to come back in. This is that vulture energy. This is not your problem here to resolve. Could be something that happened to you recently or some time ago, but strongly picking up for some Aries 
someone coming back in or trying. So don't fall for it, Aries. All right, last message here from the Making Magic deck. Let's see what you get. Final message for Aries. All right, you received the Tree of Life. True wisdom and making good choices in life. There you go. That's your last message. You're going to have true wisdom. And with the energy here from the magician card, the lover's card, you're going to now start making good choices. They're going to benefit you for your personal growth and future. Well, there you have it, Aries. That was your messages and guidance for the week ahead. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe, help support my channel. Love and abundance to my Aries family.